in the context of the Microsoft Windows NT line of operating systems, a security identifier is a unique, immutable identifier of a user, user group, or other security principle. A security principle has a single SID for life, and all properties of the principle, including its name, are associated with the SID. This design allows a principle to be renamed without affecting the security attributes of objects that refer to the principle. Overview Windows grants or denies access and privileges to resources based on access control lists, which use SIDs to uniquely identify users and their group memberships. When a user logs into a computer, an access token is generated that contains user and group SIDs and user privilege level. When a user requests access to a resource, the access token is checked against the ACL to permit or deny particular action on a particular object. SIDs are useful for troubleshooting issues with security audits, Windows Server and domain migrations. The format of an SID can be illustrated using the following example, S1-5-21-3623,800,000 15-3361044348-30300820-1013. Possible identifier authority values are 0, null authority, 1, world authority, 2, local authority, 3, creator authority, 4, non-unique authority. 5. NT Authority, 9. Resource Manager Authority. Duplicated SIDs. In a work group of computers running Windows NTXP, it is possible for a user to have unexpected access to shared files or files stored on a removable storage. This can be circumvented by setting access control lists on a susceptible file. Then the effect of permissions can be determined by the user SID. If this user SID is duplicated on another computer, a user of a second computer having the same SID could have access to the files that the user of a first computer has protected. When the computers are joined into a domain, each computer has a unique domain SID which is recomputed each time a computer enters a domain. Thus there are typically no significant problems with duplicated SIDs when the computers are members of a domain, especially if local user accounts are not used. If local user accounts are used, there is a potential security issue similar to the one described above, but the issue is limited to the files and resources protected by local users, as opposed to by domain users. Duplicated SIDs are usually not a problem with Microsoft Windows systems. Microsoft used to provide the new SID utility to change a machine SID. Other programs that detect SIDs might have problems with its security. After new SIDs retirement, Microsoft engineer Mark Rusinovich posted an article on his blog explaining the retirement of the new SID stating that neither he nor the Windows security team could think of any situation where duplicate SIDs could cause any problems at all, against commonly accepted wisdom. On November 1, 2009, Microsoft added the following to the new SID download page. Note, new SID will be retired from SIS internals on November 2, 2009. At present, the only supported mechanism for duplicating disks for Windows operating systems is through use of SysPrep. Machine SIDs A machine SID is stored in the security registry hive located at security backslash SAM backslash domains backslash account, this key has two values F and V. The V value is a binary value that has the computer SID embedded within it at the end of its data. New SID ensures that this SID is in a standard NT 4.0 format. Next. New SID generates a new random SID for the computer. New SID's generation takes great pains to create a truly random 96-bit value, which replaces the 96 bits of the three sub-authority values that make up a computer SID. From New SID Readm. Equals decoding machine SID equals. Other uses, the machine SID is also used by some free trial programs, such as Startate to prevent a computer restarting the trial, though experienced users can easily change the machine SID. Service SIDs Service SIDs are a feature of service isolation, a security feature introduced in Windows Vista and Windows Server 2008. Any service with the unrestricted SID type property will have a service-specific SID added to the access token of the service host process. 
the purpose of service SIDS is to allow permissions for a single service to be managed without necessitating the creation of service accounts, an administrative overhead. Each service SID is a local, machine-level SID generated from the service name using the following formula, S1-5-80 SHA1, service name in uppercase, the SCX utility can be used to generate an arbitrary service SID, SCX house SID NSCARSH, name, NSCARSH service SID, S1-5-80-859482,499 million 914,841-863 million 379,149 -1,145,462,774-2,388,618,682 status active the service can also be referred to as NT service backslash. See also, access control, access control matrix, discretionary access control, globally unique identifier, mandatory access control, role-based access control, capability-based security, post-cloning operations. References External links, official, object SID and active directory, Microsoft TechNet. Server 2003, Security Identifiers Technical Reference, MSKB154599, How to Associate a Username with a Security Identifier, MSKB243330, Well-known Security Identifiers in Windows Operating Systems, Support Tools for Windows Server 2003 and Windows XP. Other, Why Understanding SIDS is Important, Microsoft Security Descriptor Attributes. Tutorial article about SID handling slash converting in scripts.